y is equal to 3x minus 5. Plot the graph of the line y is equal to 3x minus 5. Determine the slope. What is the y-intercept? What is the x-intercept? To plot a straight line, all we need are two points. We have to generate those two points. So let's go for x equal to 0. So y is equal to 3x minus 5. And in the space occupied by x, we substitute 0. y equal to, what is 3 times 0? It is 0. 0 minus 5, and that is negative 5. So when x equals 0, y is equal to negative 5. Do not forget, a point on the graph paper will always have x and y. x comes first. To get the second point, what do we do? Substitute x equals something other than x equal to 0. Let's choose x equals 1. So y is equal to 3x minus 5. And then, so y is equal to 3x minus 5. y is equal to 3, the space occupied by x, we substitute 1. What is 3 times 1? 3 minus 5, and that is negative 2. So when x equals 1, y equals negative 2. y is equal to 3x minus 5. The space occupied by x, we substitute 1, and we get negative 2. So our point is 1, negative 2. So we have two points, 0, negative 5, 1, negative 2. If you have two points, then you can join and make the line happen. What are our points? 0, negative 5. This is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So 0, negative 5 is a point on the line y is equal to 3x minus 5. When you substitute x equals 1, we get negative 2 x equals 1, y equals negative 2. So 1, negative 2. Join those points and you have the line. How do we get the slope from the equation y is equal to 3x minus 5? So y is equal to 3x minus 5. y is equal to mx plus b. Immediately you see that b is equal to negative 5. m is equal to or just follow what I did here. y is equal to 3x minus 5. y is equal to mx plus b. y is equal to 3x. Instead of 3x minus 5, I said plus times negative 5. So now everything looks very similar to y is equal to mx plus b. And now we know m is equal to 3 and b is equal to negative 5. For the y-intercept, set x equal to 0 into the equation. So in the space occupied by x, we put 0 in there. So what is 3 times 0? 0. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So when you put x equals 0, we get y equals negative 5. For the x-intercept, where does the graph touch the x-axis? On the x-axis, y is always equal to 0. So y is equal to 3x minus 5. Set y equal to 0. So you get 3x minus 5 is equal to 0. Add 5 to both sides. So you get 5 is equal to 3x. Divide both sides by 3. So 5 over 3 is equal to 3x over 3. 3 and 3 cancel out. So you get x equals 5 divided by 3, which is really 1.67. So what is our point? Remember, a point on the graph paper will always have x and y. x comes first, 1.67, y is equal to 0. So go back to the line and extend it, and you will see that this point is 1.670. That is our x-intercept. That is where the graph touched the x-axis. And we have 0, negative 5 from before and 1, negative 2, 1, negative 2. 
And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.